hi there, and welcome back. I'm so glad that you could join me today as we experience the joys of spreadsheets. Today, I'm going to take us on a nice little journey as we explore how you can realize the real costs of production, as I believe there's a tiny little bit of capitalists in all of us. So, I'll tell you what. Before we get started, I'm going to get them to run all the tools you're going to need across the screen there. And as they're doing that, I'm going to tell you what we're going to put up on the canvas here. Today, we are using Google Sheets. It is going to be your canvas that you're going to use to make your dreams a reality. And as you can see, I've already covered my canvas with flashbang white. I just find it helps you stay awake when you work on your canvas in the middle of the night. And so to help us out today, we are going to be conjuring from the depths of the underwater internet cables a CSV endpoint that pulls live price data to your canvas. So let's get out our fingers and start clicking and clacking away. And don't worry about making any mistakes, because there are no mistakes, just happy little accidents. So, now that we got the CSV endpoint pulling that data from the depths of the ocean, let's make a new tab on our canvas. With this new tab open, let's create some columns of all the prefabs that you're going to use in your journey. That's right, happy little columns. Now. With these columns created, let's import all the ask prices of your prefabs from every main market. Now, keep in mind that this canvas will only give you an estimate of the real cost of production. If you want an exact cost of production, I recommend you pull out a pen and your diary and write out little diary entries to yourself, reminding yourself of what you bought your prefabs at. But in any case, once you got your price data in, let's create a few rows that describe which market you got the data from. And once that's done, let's copy those same columns a few rows down. Now, let's take a pause and admire the work that you have done. You're only two steps away from creating your own Bloomberg terminal at this point. But now let's move on to the data validation dropdown. So using a cell a few rows down in the same column that you put the market descriptors, let's go to the data tab and select data validation. Now in the apply to range box, let's just select the cell that we currently have selected and use the drop down from a range as our criteria. Next, let's select the market descriptor cells that you used earlier. And there you go. You've now made a happy little data validator that you can use for the next part of your journey. Next, let's add a little nerdy magic into this canvas by using a filter. With the filter function used, let's select our entire live price data range as the first variable in this function. And then, in the second series of variables, let's select our data validation cell and use an equal sign, and then select our market descriptor range. And there you have it. All the prefabs live price data from whatever market you choose to look at. Now with this new skill at your fingertips, I hope you made you feel good and that you're excited for your new life as a space entrepreneur. Because when you make profit in space, you feel good. And that good feeling you feel is money going into your pocket. So with this new skill, I invite you to take the time now and pause the video to create your own similar setup for any consumables you plan on using. So pause the video now. So 
So in the end, you should have a canvas that looks like mine. And don't worry if it doesn't, you haven't made any mistakes, just opportunities to learn from. But if your canvas does look like mine, let's continue. Now, let's say that you wanted to mine water out of a planet. You got your pickaxe ready and swung down into the water, but you realized that a pickaxe might not be the most effective tool for this job. So you grabbed a sandcastle bucket instead. But if that's too slow, you can always use a rig. Let's open up Prosperous Universe and find the construct button on our base. Let's navigate to where the rig is and we will see that it'll cost us 12 BSE and 40 MCG to make one rig. However, we know that the rig will start to rust the minute we put it down. So let's go back to our canvas and pull the live price data for BSEs and multiply them by 12. And then find the live price data for MCGs and multiply them by 40. Then we are going to add those two numbers up and divide it by 180. We use 180 days because 180 days is essentially the point in which you have used up those prefabs and building materials completely. So now we have found the daily depreciation cost for a rig. To find the daily consumable costs, I would recommend pulling out your favorite planning tool, whether that be Prenner or Prun Planner, and using that tool to find the daily consumable costs of one rig. Don't worry, the consumable costs don't change for a building depending on what you produce from it. So now with the daily depreciation costs and the daily consumable costs, you can see the daily cost of manufacturing for one rig. One thing to keep in mind is that this cost is daily. So if a production time for a product shows that it'll take half a day to produce one item, you will want to take this cost and divide it in half to find the cost of manufacturing of said product. Well, I hope we've learned a little something new today, and I thank you for letting me spend the time with you as we explore the joys of spreadsheets. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure to tell your grandma about all the new things you are learning on the internet. Till next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.